Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing my travel budget setup. So without further ado, let's go. So hey guys, I am leaving to Prague in two days. So I decided that now is the time to set up my travel budget. And if you haven't seen one of these videos from me before, it's usually me uh, setting up a money for spending in the envelopes I'm going to take with me. So basically I'm going for four days to Prague. So I have four corresponding mini envelopes envelopes that I just pop into my wallet and they go into my wallet in like the coin section I can show you and then I just put them like this close it up and then spend it on my trip as I go and if I have any rollover money in for example let's say first day I will roll over that money to the next day etc etc as I'm going to Prague uh, they do use a different currency than euro they use the uh, Czechian uh, kronas i believe so i went to the exchange office i exchanged 50 euros which got me uh 1200 kronas but they only gave me three bills and i'm going for four days so i will probably put these bigger denominations into spending in uh, the first and second day and then we'll see what uh, i can roll over in the next days but um let's start setting up the budget and i will open up my travel envelope and we will count the money and we will distribute it uh, accordingly so i have four categories here because i already paid for my flights and altogether we should have 417 euros minus the 50 euros i spent on exchange so that should be together uh 367 so let's count so we have 367 minus 50, 70, 90, 110, 115, 116, 117, minus the what we have in dining, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 110, minus what we have in groceries, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, minus and this should be 80 to equal up to a zero so 20 40 60 80 okay yes yeah, so we have the money we're supposed to have so uh hotels i will be paying with my credit card and uh i'm paying the whole sum and then my pe uh, friend will pay me back so i'm leaving this money in the envelope here and when i come back from my trip i will just transfer back this money to my uh bank account but i will just leave it here because i do not know the actual amount i know the approximate but maybe there are some fees included and some um uh, conversion like currency exchange fees so i will leave this here we'll see later on how much we pay i will when i come back i'll do a travel budget basically update and expenses update and i will talk about that there so let's see dining we have we're supposed to have uh, four equal parts but as i said i will have the biggest chunk of money from uh, spending uh the kronas in here so let's see we have 20 40 60 80 110 so let's do maybe okay so i will do uh 30 uh, euros in the first day and 500 kronas in the second day so i will set it up like last time i set it up with like four different slots and so this is the first day this is going 40 euros uh let's do four no let's i also want to have a 10 here do i have a 10 can i switch it out let me switch it out here with the next category okay so i will have 30 euros and 500 kronas for the second day as well sorry that was my phone uh so i will have then uh 30 euros and 200 kronas for the third day and the th uh, fourth day is when we are flying like off so i don't expect to uh, spend a lot of money other than maybe for lunch at the airport so i will put only 20 euros for dining here but i will probably uh roll over the money uh uh, from previous days so that's why maybe the last day makes sense to put the least amount of money because i know that i will roll over some money um uh, to it from the previous days as i said okay so next we have groceries and groceries has let's see so 20 30 40 50 60 okay so 60 divided by 4 i believe is 15 so we should have 15 for each of the days 15 here 
15 in the next day and then I should split up. Do I have any change? Like, do I have an envelope that I can change the money? Let me check. I will take uh, my long-term sinking funds binder and maybe I can switch out, okay, a 20 for two tens. Okay. And hopefully I won't need any other change, but I won't put this very far away if we do need to. Okay, so 15 for the third day and Oh, geez. And 15 for the fourth day. Okay, and then we're off to miscellaneous. And this has 20, 40, 60, 80. And this is easy. This is just 20 uh, euros per each day. So I will put this back into my binder. And then we will tally up all the amounts that I wrote. So I wrote miscellaneous is 20 euros per day. Uh, groceries was 15 euros per day and dining I believe was first second third and fourth day so fourth day it was only 20 euros the first was 30 euros plus 500 kronas it was sec the same for the second day and for the third it was 30 euros and 200 kronas so I will have all of this uh to the side so I can then compare all of the amounts when I come back but let's just stuff the envelopes and we will see how much we have here um, when always there's a different currency it's so weird to see it so okay so 20 40 50 60 65 70 euros and 500 kronas for the first day okay oh and it fits that's pretty okay the five didn't, oh my God, I wrecked the five euro bill. Okay, so that's the first day. The second day is 20, 60, 70, no, 20, 20, 40, 50, 60 euros and 500 kronas. Okay. And then we have uh, the third day. And then we have 20, 40, 50, 65, and 200. Why is, th why is there, s I think there was a mistake. Did I count this correctly? I will probably watch the video back and I will see all of the mistakes I made. But if you caught it, let me know in the comments below because I think I wrote down different amounts that I would actually put here, but it's fine. <laughs> okay, the fourth day is getting 20, 40, 50, 55 euros. Once again, as I said, if I have any rollover money, I will put this to the last day. Of course, I always budget uh, more than I actually plan to spend because just in case maybe something urgent happens, but I don't don't wish to spend all this money it's just in case if I need it and it's better to budget it for in advance than be later sorry or short on money and yes always when you're traveling I think it's better to have just a little bit extra you know just in case of emergencies and everything and maybe you know uh, you need a taxi or you need I don't know medical help or just whatever so I've been traveling since I was a little kid and all of these little things you just learn with experience and uh, as I always know that it's better to have uh, some cash on you no matter that you can basically pay everywhere these days with a credit card but it's good to have cash on you anyway because there might be like an internet connection problem or a shortage of electricity where you can't pay with your card you know and all of these little aspects that you learn as you go but I'm sharing my wisdom with you and if you have an upcoming trip then uh, make sure to take my consideration into account because it really helps if you're prepared for basically everything you know how that saying goes like prepare for the oh, worst expect the best yeah something like that i don't know but uh yes that was all for today's video i hope oh god that was my computer and it was so loud i even heard it uh out of my headphones but yes uh, that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel we have fun over here sorry it was so chaotic but that always is uh before going on a trip uh but yes yeah, stay tuned for more videos i'm coming back soon i'm going to update you on all of my budgeting uh, things my expenses and it's gonna be a fun time so yes as usual i wish you a very wonderful day and i hope to see you next time bye